hi youtubers the law of thrifter here today I'm going to show you some smalls that I purchased at various thrift shops and um, I have about eight of them and uh, this first piece is um, a piece of uh, hand-blown uh, art glass. It has ruffled edges and it has a swirl pattern. Um, the colors are like a burnt orange. Uh, I see red and white swirl. Um, the bottom, this here is a pontil uh, mark because they use um, punty uh, rods uh, to hold the uh, glass piece when they're firing it so um, this there's various types of glass there's carnival glass like Marano glass uh, blend Blenco glass a uh, Fenton this I thought was Fenton but Fenton doesn't have bubbles in their glass and I see some areas that have um, bubbles in there um, and I don't think it has, uh, pontal marks on their, uh, glass either. So this is just a pretty piece of, um, art glass. And I paid, um, about $1.98 for that. So I have that listed. And then this, uh, Next piece is uh, plaster, and I paid one to two dollars for it. Um, it's Crazy Horse, the Native American Indian. Um, it's by uh, Korzak. I think it's K O R S Z A K. Um, it says one slash twelve hundred. But the pieces all say that um, Black Hills, South Dakota, and again, this is plaster, and this is the writing on it. And um, I would think it would be chalkware because you could like, there's chalk on there. That might even be. It's plaster or chalkware, but um, so I saw pieces going for twenty or thirty. Um, again, I got that for one or two dollars, and it's unpainted, so you could paint it. Um, I came across this uh, vintage doll's head. Um, this is by uh, Simon. How big H A L B I G? Um, they're vintage porcelain dolls, they go for a lot of money, but this is unique in that it's a um, ornament. Um, and someone put flowers, it may have been purchased like this, or someone did this. But if you look on the back, you could see the name right there. And back of the uh, neck there, right there, and it says how big, and the other side says Simon, and then there's a number on it. Um, so I purchased her for five dollars. They did some um, hand paintings on the face, and it's really cute. I have her listed for 50 and I have a few watchers on her. So, yeah, if you could find the dolls, H-A-L-B-I-G, they're worth a lot of money. Um, the next thing I came across was this handmade, uh, hand-carved uh, wood box. It's, uh, dated 2008 so about 15 years ago it was made and this is camphor wood 
And isn't that something? Look at the drawers. Whoa. I could smell it. You could smell the camphor in it. Really cool piece. Look at that. Really beautiful. And it is uh, the artist uh, Dale H I L E. Uh, it's camphor. So it has a little issue somewhere. I saw something. Maybe, nope, that's not it. Um, somewhere there's a little issue, like a little scratch here. Might even be a little hairline crack, but I mean, it's really a beautiful piece. So I purchased that for $3. And um, I believe I have it up for 60 or 70 I have an offer or a watcher. So I made an offer. So I just did that. So I'm just waiting to hear if they want it or not. But I just thought that was beautiful. And again, I only paid $3 for that. A lot of work comes in uh, woodworking. Um, the next piece I am going to show you is this sequin purse. It has the chain. Um, has some pretty detailing in the top there. And this is called a gate top, and the sides are like an accordion. There it opens up. No markings or anything, but I purchased that for $2. I thought that was very pretty. The next piece I'm going to show you is a 1950s um, poodle. This um, artwork or this type of uh, detailing is called spaghetti art. And he has a little bow with polka dots. And he was purchased, well, he was three, but I got him for $1.50. It was 50% off. There's a little mark on the paw. It's very, very light. It's a, like a U mark. It probably will it might not, pay. there it is, right there. Right here. So, again, I got that for $1.50. It's 1950s. Um, usually see them in white. But I thought that was really cool. It is in blue, like a lighter blue color. And then I found this. This is by the um, Music Box Company. Now, a lot of items are music boxes. Um, with that name, can go for a lot of money. Some not as much. So, you know look into music boxes when you see them and look it up music box company um like i said a lot could go for pretty good money um this was three again i got it for 50 percent off so it was a dollar fifty it has a pretty rose in it and you shake it up and not pretty and it says right here san francisco music box company and the song it plays is The Rose. And uh, I could have sold that, but um, I'm giving that to my mom because my mom loves roses. And um, so I'm going to give that to my mom. They sell for like 30 to 40 And if I told her that, she'd say, don't sell it. Don't give it to me. Try to sell it. But... I'm not going to tell her that. I'm just going to give it to her. <laughs> and then, last but not least, is this cute manatee figure. She's all 
relaxing on a inner tube. She has her drink, cute hat, and it says SS Manatee on the side. And she is by December Diamonds Company. Now, um, some figures um, with that name on it go for a good amount of money. This one, I'm not too sure. Um, she was only like, I think it was like $1.98 I bought her for. Isn't that cute? She does have a little, uh, the glitter right there is a little, is chipped, but that's about it. But um, look at her bottom. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. So those are some of my smalls that um, I came across. And I hope you like this video. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe because subscribing helps my channel. And I appreciate your watching. And I will see you guys next time. Ciao.